All right, we're coming right along. As you can see here, we're going to go ahead and I've put up a beam here and our post. And we're actually using these for the, these are telephone poles, as you can see. I don't have any kind of um, water source or any kind of garden or anything here, so I don't mind using these telephone poles. But if you look here, um, they're 12 foot and, and they're actually going to be uh, 10 foot in height. So what it does is it permits me to clear the Mahoe sawmill. So when that's lifted up to its uh, maximum height, which I, I won't need, I won't be cutting anything that large, but as this raises up, you see that the height here, and let me, I can show you what I did. Just makeshift, this thing right here will simulate the actual height of uh, the pole that I'm lifting up. And it's far above um, what we have here with the actual uh, mill itself. So on that end, I have my 10 foot pole and it's two feet in the ground, so a total of 12. And if you look on this end, I've done the same thing. And there's gonna be two benefits for this. Uh, when I run my beam across the top from this side over to that end, you're going to, it's going to permit me then to have a horizontal or a left to right motion where I can go. And then I'm going to run a beam um, from this point all the way out, and I'm going to reproduce the 12 foot poles on this side and on that side. And because of the height, it won't impinge any kind of board return. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Excuse the mess here. Uh, we're in the organization process, so it's gonna take a minute for us to get up perfectly going, but uh, this is developmental stage. So when the board is brought back, of course, you know, it returns the board to you. Being that I'm going to have the post on the right and left side, which are going to go beyond the working area uh, within, within here, as you can see within this spot, um, it won't interfere with anything that I have to do uh, from those corner backwards. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do there. And when the beam, runs down the center, it will allow me to have a hoist, a chain hoist, electronic, that I'll have that can move all the way down. So we're coming all the way down this way. And then it'll be able to go left to right as well. So this thing will be able to go left to right. So any logs that I pick up, I can just bring them in. This thing will attach on the log and then I can actually lift it and I can move it anywhere where I desire on the actual base, which I'm gonna to have to recreate these. These are not final, they're temporary. And uh, that's the first thing and the purpose of this. But also, as this, also, when you have that much weight moving and you know, you're dealing with um, you know, your pulley systems, look here, and it's going back and forth um, over time, and not even over time, as those blades, you can see, you have an eight inch and a 12 inch um, horizontal blade. As it's cutting through lumber, and you're, you're talking uh, small and large logs, you're, you're gonna get some vibration, and it's just unavoidable. And though this system is uh, rigid, as it comes to reinforce your system, um, as you start you know, doing heavy production work, I'm going to have this, where you see the stabilizers there, they're going down, but I'm also going to stabilize this on the top platform here, and it's gonna run across and attach to this stabilization here. Um, to, to give it more stabilization, I'm gonna attach it to this particular uh, post. And then I will do the same thing at the bottom, having collars where I have my set desired height where I never want the actual, um, uh, for this to drop lower than a certain height so that I can work uh, waist high. Uh, let me explain what I'm talking about. When I create this base, it's gonna come up 24 inches, which 24 inches will bring me up, and then I'm gonna have three inches to where I'll have my actual um, log clamps. 
so that it will stabilize the logs when I put them down. So you're talking about 27 inches up. And then I, when I take my collars, I'll put it there so that my blade never drops below that point to where when I'm going back and forth, it will not hit the metal log clamps that I have. Um, and then I can go ahead and run it here and it'll stabilize it at the bottom and at the top and also prevent my blade from ever lowering so low to where it's going to hit the, the log clamps on the base. We don't want that. So I'm accomplishing several things here as I put this together. Uh, stability, more uh, rig rigid system where it won't vibrate, and also an effective pulley system. Uh, my friend in the Navy, he used to also uh, put these together because in the Navy they have to make sure of things and it needed to be uh, easy to assemble and not complicated. And so there was a similar system here. Now on the back side, I may go ahead and I'm, no, I know I'm attaching the top part with a beam, but I may go ahead and create an X to where I run um, a X cross members to the top and then from the bottom to the top and I'll create an X coming that way and this way and it'll give it even more stability and that may be overkill but I mean you're dealing with a, a high expensive piece of machinery and when you start doing any kind of uh, production cutting you don't want any movement or vibration and you want to stabilize these these are a little bit more um, you know they're not flimsy but it's not this right here. So stabilizing this is important. Back and forth movement, do the same on the both sides and you'll have a nice system. So that's what I plan on doing. I'm gonna work on that today. I'll cut out the rest of the lumber here and uh, I'll keep you posted when I get those um, other posts down there in place. And we should have a full functional system soon here and we can begin to uh, demonstrate uh, how this works and everything.